Welcome to day four of Bekhudi's Zikr Meditations. My name is Tahmina Mansoor and I will be your guide for today. As we connect our hearts to God's light that is ever abundant, we realize that the more we connect to it, the more we are able to contain the love, mercy and compassion within ourselves, to be able to deal gracefully with whatever life presents us with. We begin to awaken this new powerful energy within us that helps us realize our true potential. A potential where the despair in our lives begins to melt away, where God's love begins to envelop everything and we finally start singing to the symphony of peace. And as we start savoring these blessings of the Divine, there is only one feeling that echoes within us, and that is the feeling of gratitude. For how can we see all the majestic grandeur and not be awakened by it? For how can we see all the beauty and not be moved by it? As human beings, we must then return to thankfulness to make our journey whole. If we consciously reflect on the universe and the galaxies, the sun and the moon, the trees and the mountains, the rivers and the oceans, the animals and the humans and all the other beings that exist, how can we not see the signs in them? If we can be fully awake for even a second, we will begin to see the divine beauty and majesty. The mystics have always taught that true gratitude is not just about being grateful to God when you get what you want, but being grateful even when things don't go your way because you truly begin to believe that God is the best of planners. Our gratitude does not make God more generous, but when we practice gratefulness, the barriers of our ego begin to fall apart, thinning our distance from God and awakening us to see more of what the Divine gives to us continuously. Our gratitude then comes not through the outer circumstances of our lives that continue to change, but rather from God who is everlasting and unchanging. And so true gratitude is not based on your circumstance, but is based on the state of your spirit or soul. In the words of Maulana Rumi, be grateful for your life, every detail of it, and your face will come to shine like a sun, and everyone who sees it will be made glad and peaceful. Acknowledging all the good that is already in your life and being grateful for it is the foundation of all abundance. And so the source of all abundance is not outside of you, but it is a part of who you are. Both scarcity and abundance are a part of your inner state that manifest as your reality. When you experience life fully and focus on what you have rather than what you don't have, you start to awaken the dormant abundance and gratitude within. And so, in this moment, let's allow this gratefulness to flow out and see how your world changes. Today, let's dive into experiencing all the abundance that this world has to offer. I invite you to find a comfortable and quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Rest your hands gently on your knees and slowly 
allow your eyes to close. Take a deep breath in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. With another breath in, find yourself sitting next to a beautiful stream. Watch the water slide past you as you sit at the very edge of the water. The water is icy cold, a turquoise blue, flowing softly but swiftly. With another breath in, lift your gaze slowly and see the land across robed in multiple streams of gushing water racing across you. See the meadow interlaced with these streams, with islands of fresh flowers dancing in the breeze. How beautiful is this place? With another breath in, continue to lift your gaze and watch the land gently ascend as a thick green blanket of trees folds up into an enormous mountain. Lush green and glowing, reflecting an emerald light as the sun shines upon it. How high is this mountain? Watch it majestically seated here, right in front of you. Almost perfectly mirroring you. Poised, comfortable, peaceful and magnanimous. Feel its grand presence as you take another deep breath in. Let your arrival here be welcomed. And now, draw your mouth into a circle as though you are about to sip in the air. Take a deep breath in through your mouth and let it go. In this special moment, you are sipping in the abundant energy of this place. Drinking in all the abundance that life has to offer to you. Remember, what you witness outside is also within you. With another sip in through your mouth, send this breath to your heart center. As you breathe out, let your heart find rest in this beautiful energy. For the next few minutes, we will awaken this feeling of gratitude within us by invoking Alhamdulillah, all praise belongs to Allah to break us free from the scarcity that our ego experiences, to open our hearts to abundance and to feel whole again. And in this moment, realize how special you are, just like this magnificent mountain.
It is now time to come back from our meditative state. Gently bring your awareness back to your body and to your room. Before opening your eyes, notice how the vibration of gratitude and abundance made you feel. Notice how your heart and body feel. Remember that abundance comes to those who already have it within. And you are special because this abundance is already within you. You just have to awaken it. Thank you for finding the time to be here with me today. I wish you a life full of abundance and may your heart find rest.